Judy Pierre back with another video. And today we're going to be speaking about how cars... Hey, 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 that is my intro. Why are you in this video anyways? But look at Infinite Fusion. He stole it. So I thought it would be a nice idea if I did since you spoke nothing about it. Well, now I'm going to steal it back. So we're going to say in this video, we're going to say how Cars is the best Cars movie of all the Cars movies. First thing I want to say is that how the toys ruined them. So one way is that there's, I remember I used to have like a Max set and it carried like 15 cars at once. But in the Cars movie, he only carries like Lightning McQueen. So it comes to a point where even the toys are not even related to the movie itself. Yeah, and they made a Cars figurine or a Cars toy for every single car featured. And they made like 50 different types of Lightning McQueens for every single occasion. I used to have like this Lightning McQueen toy and the back wheels were like missing because there was a scene. And I bet nobody would play with that because cause the t back tires are missing and you can't really roll it around. Yeah, that's true. So the second thing that's a problem is that the other movies are actually pretty bad. See, the Cars 1 movie was really good because it actually wasn't just for money and normal Disney stuff. It was for, like, because the director, he went on, like, a trip with his family and figured out what he wanted to do with the movie. And it was actually, it had a good lesson. Yeah, now, and also the thing was original on, like, Cars 2 where this, like, psycho says that he's actually a good guy, but he tries to destroy Lightning McQueen. And, like, that title is not original. Yeah, because they copied concept. James Bond as well. Because, um, sorry to break this for you guys, but Finn McMissile is a copy of James Bond. It's very sad. And, and also it looks like the exact Aston Martin that James Bond drives. Exactly. So the that's the a problem with the other ones. And Cars 3, I didn't really like that because it basically made Lightning McQueen look very old. Very, very old. And they just brought a new person. I doubt they're going to make any more Cars movies because Cars 3 was basically just to end off the franchise. So that's why and cars 2 was really just about making some more money because they hadn't make us made a sequel on that movie yet so they just thought, thought hey let's just get some more money so the third thing is that the franchise doesn't really mix well because in the end of the first movie it says like route 66 is back on the map and then in the middle of nowhere just goes to him in the middle of racing. Not in the middle of racing, but like he, start, he started getting more, he started winning more things, more trophies. So it seemed a bit less cool for him to not get the Piston Cup because he just got like a thousand more trophies. And then out of nowhere some spies come around and it's just all about spies and bad guy cars and random nonsense the next movie is him like months and months later and he's really old and he's back doing the piston cup racing now we're going on to number four it really was a very good movie for its time it was made in 2005 the animations look really good for 2005 yeah 2005 like i'm gonna pull up a picture of something else that was made in 2005 as you can see it is probably very very bad so that's why it was really good for its time. And also, it had a, a really good concept. And it, it really made its mark in Disney history. So that's why it's pretty good. Also, they made a lot of money out of it, even though they weren't actually looking for money. They were just make, wanting to make a movie because he wanted to document about how like his road trip felt um the director and that's why it's a really good movie for the 20th anniversary for pixar and the problem is is that after the actual
actual cars movie, I think they became really money greedy and roll and rolled out like dumb concepts and and changed Lightning McQueen like Cars Two, the main character was Mater, and Cars Three, it was like some yellow jelly bean car. So yeah. And yeah, that's that's one other reason. And now we're gonna go to number five, the final the final reason why Cars is the best movie of all the Cars franchise. It really made a mark for Disney because they were really known for making princess movies and stuff like that. But this was one of their first movies that was actually not about just fairy tales and random stuff. It was more um, realistic. Even though it was about talking cars and stuff, it felt way more realistic because this could have happened exactly the same way, even in real life. And also that boys got more interested because Disney used to be all about princesses and all of that, and boys didn't really watch it, watch them. That is very true. So Cars made it. So now instead of just girl movies and stuff. It turned it into having all um, all genders liking movies like that from Disney. So that is the final reason why Cars is the best movie of the Cars franchise. So uh, I hope you like the video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh man, you stole my outro.